Alright, today guys, I'm going to show you how to build a track splitter for your car for under $100. Alright, so, all we have here is an 8x4 section of half inch plywood. Um, I have some other hardware and stuff. You can get everything you need to make this from Lowe's. I'm going to use some scrap metal for some brackets and stuff. But uh, even, even the splitter rods, I'm going to utilize some turnbuckles, which I've actually used in the past and they actually worked out great. So, um, yeah, I'll walk you through step by step what you need to do for this. Alright, so you start out with removing the bumper off the car. You just want to get it on the piece of wood. Basically, all we're going to do here is we're just going to trace out the line that we want to do. So basically, all I really do is I'll do a rough sketch around where I want it to go. It's important to figure out how far out you want it to stick out. Um, I think that's a pretty good distance for this. And if not, you can always trim it down. So, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I got a basic shape chased out. I kind of like botched this little straight section here, so I'm probably gonna sand this to make it better, but if you look, just a nice basic shape of what we want to do. I kind of end it right here, kind of where the wheel, the uh, arch is gonna come down. So I'll make that straight right there, but pretty easy right there. So from here, I'll cut it roughly, and then I'll probably use like something like a sawzall to do this shape right here and on that side, and then we can sand that down. And then um, that's pretty much just the easy part of this. And then, you know, I can go back and paint this, which I will do, but the, uh, the fun part is going to be um, the, the, uh, like the actual supports, which I'm gonna use, utilize the tow hooks for, so. All right, we have the basic shape cut out here. Uh, I did a boo boo, but that's what happens when you use a uh, a uh, not a jigsaw. So uh, we're gonna sand this down, just so we can get it nice and rounded and fix up the boo boo. And then from there, uh, you can probably do a nice little fit on the car to see where, like, if what's gonna collide with it. So, yeah. Uh, we got the, the general shape down, we sanded it. It's a little off. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a piece of wood and your eyeballs. So this is seven inches right here. Get a good look at what we're talking about. So. Uh, now comes the very fun part, which is where we're going to get the car in here and then try to mock it up. Now it's going to be cold. Oh, it's going to be cold. Okay, so we are going to uh, utilize the mounts for uh, for this bar. This is a stock bar that just comes underneath. It's just kind of decorative. And, but anyway, there is a, a threaded bolt right here. We're going to use some spacers to distance this because of the um, front uh, like balance cover that's on that bumper. And then we're going to utilize another bracket that uh, ties into this tow hook. So right now we've marked where the center of that bar sits on here and then we're going to get it to where it needs to go and then we're going to mark those holes and put those bolts in and then we can make the brackets for those and that'll be to attach this to there and then we'll go through how to make the um splitter rods like the brackets and everything um after that all right so here's what we have this is like a two inch spacer that we actually got off the snowmobile but we got a washer here a washer on the other side a washer there bolting right through there so then that sides just like that and as you can see just that it's already 
extremely stiff. So for now, we're gonna put a bracket right through here, down, connect it to there, and then we can attach the splitter rods to the front. All right, so here is the plan. Here's how to make these. Now, for the splitter rods, we're using these turnbuckles, which I just have extended out. And uh, we're making our own um, attachments. This is just some bar. I'll put, the, I'll put the link to this in the description. I just got this at uh, Lowe's. So what we're doing is we're putting a slice there, a slice there, and then we cut there. Now this is two inch. This is just over half an inch. This is two inch. So the finished product looks like this, obviously with a hole drilled in it for the, uh, for the bolt. So then when I put this, I put this through, it holds that tight. And this also means that when I go to tighten it, the walls will retain the screw so I can actually tighten that on there. And then this, as you can see, fits in there. So we'll also drill a hole for that. Now you gotta make, uh, yeah, so one, two, three, four. Four of these. Four of these mounts. So two are gonna go onto the, the crash bar and then two are gonna go onto the wood. Now we also have large washers that go on the bottom of these. So they had a lot, a lot of support to those, but I'm gonna cut more of these and then I'm gonna round it off these edges so it doesn't look like a fucking piece of shit. And then uh, we'll mount that up. Pretty easy stuff. mounts made and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this crash bumper because we're gonna fix those to this and these will get painted and whatnot but obviously you can bypass all this like using Home Depot parts if you actually want to spend like you know good money on these but uh, I ain't paying $80 for those when I can make those from Home Depot parts so yeah let's get this off So we have the brackets mounted on there. I just slapped some paint on because I guess rust. And uh, now we're gonna throw this back up on here and then uh, line up the splitter rods down here and then we can mount those to the piece of wood. And then we'll take it all apart and then paint it. So everything's bolted up. We're just doing this as a uh, temporary. Zach, you want to demonstrate how strong this thing is? Yeah, so if you look, he's fucking... <laughs> it's actually compressing the car. So for anyone who's doubting how, how strong these like wood splitters are, because I know I've done a wood splitter on my other car. A lot of people thought that they were like, they're just that's just going to explode or break. Like I said, this is a tested thing. People have done this many times for road racing, so... Uh, this is just a half inch thick a piece of wood, so I would stick with half inch. Uh, obviously, you see that uh, that's crooked, but we don't really care about that here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna take it all apart now, and then uh, we're gonna set it up to paint it, and then uh, probably cut out the hole for the header. Oh, you didn't do that yet. Come on. No fires. <laughs> Day two, I uh, painted the other side of this board. I also added a nice edge to the underside. So the top came out very nice. So now I've just gotta wait for this to dry. So once this is dry, um, I might add another coat depending on how well this is. 
Oh, well, this comes out. And after that, uh, you can permanently attach it to the car. So we, we let it dry, and now we're just putting it back together. Ah, yes, I'm remembering to plug in the horns. Yeah, I gotta plug those in. There it is, the finished product. Now, uh, I just did a temporary adjustment on this just to kind of level it down a little bit to just use a bubble level in my eyeballs. Uh, still some things that uh, I'm going to need is like some plastic to come down to there to meet and uh, probably something to secure the front lip better to the actual splitter. Even something just behind it to keep it from buckling in. But uh, yeah, it's super simple and the uh, rods are a little bit off, but you can kind of see what the finished product is with those and yeah we'll definitely see how this uh behaves in the summertime and uh see if it flies off but i'm very doubtful of it <laughs> the del sol one's even sketchier than this one yeah this del sol one's <laughs> that one stayed on yeah so there you go uh, i hope this helps some people Obviously, if you're doing this to a different car, you know, it might not be as easy as far as um, the way it mounts under there. Because like I said, we had we had uh, a nice easy mounting spot right at the back of the back of the uh, tow hook. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.